hi guys welcome back to my channel this is like my third time doing this because i have not done this in a while in my defense i have other things to do okay which i'll explain in this video this is like a summary of how semester a went at queen mary and some advice and tips along the way to people who are going to be starting university this year in september okay let's get into the video okay so we'll start from the very beginning we're supposed to move out as you can see, I did not move out. I had everything packed in boxes ready to go and I was meant to move in on a Friday. And on the Monday, my parents asked to see my timetable for uni. They saw that everything was webinars. And when they asked me, why am I spending 200 pound a week doing my course on a laptop? I did not have a valid reason. To be fair, they did give me the choice to say, well, you know what, if I still wanna go have the uni experience living on my own, I can go and do that. But after deeping it, it didn't make sense. And I saved a lot of money staying at home. I'm not mad about it. I mean, I don't know what I would have missed because I don't know what it felt like to live out. So I can't really compare. Freshers week online, I don't really know what happened with that. I didn't join anything. I didn't want to pay for anything to be online. But I did know that there was parties and uni accommodation. However, I don't drink or I don't like the vibe of people being all drunk around me. And stuff. You know, if you like that scene, that is fine. Good for you. But for me personally, that's not my vibe. So I don't feel like I personally missed much from staying at home during freshers week. So it's okay i know there were games nights quiz nights movie nights and things like that that would have been cool corona stopped that from happening so we move i have started to become more religious i'm still on my own personal journey though i'm still learning along the way this is a process i joined islamic society the sisters on the group chat that i'm in are so lovely and inshallah i get to meet all of you guys soon at the moment everything is just on whatsapp would i be on this religious journey if i moved out i don't know i think more likely not at the same time i've learned a lot about myself so maybe mm, i guess we'll never know now with regards to relationships okay I can't be the only girl that thinks like this. Before you start uni, you feel like, you know, there's so many things in your life that you want to sort out. And one of them being, you know, getting a partner. And for some reason, I just felt like, oh yeah, this is definitely gonna happen and I'm so excited. <laughs> Can I tell you, looking back now, how stupid it is thinking that way? People have come and gone in my life and I have learned to just focus on myself, my own needs and leave the rest up to God. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has got my back. He's written everything out for me. So why am I stressing about finding someone? I'm not going to be actively looking, if that makes sense. I'm just going to leave it and um, wait. In regards to social life, I think it has been really hard if you're staying at home because if you live in Uniacom, you know, you make friends with your flat. Staying at home, it is a lot harder, especially when you're trying to meet people because of COVID. I must say, alhamdulillah, the friends that I have made at the moment now, um, I'm very, very grateful for them. Cringy stuff aside, any advice for the year 13s that are going to start uni this year? I would go on the university Facebook pages, join WhatsApp group chats for your course and just Put yourself out there, try and make friends because they're not going to come to you, if that makes sense. You do need to put effort, more effort than before because of the circumstances at the moment. But it's not impossible. I have every faith. And you know, you have me. You can always just message me if you want a friend. Now, in terms of academia, the teaching, I would say that universities taught me a lot of self-discipline. You do need to be very independent, especially because all lectures are recorded. It's very easy to just want to sleep in for your 9 a.m. and then just watch it afterwards. But alhamdulillah, I've actually not missed a lecture yet. So I would say that's an achievement. A lot of people on my course, they just stress out so much. So many girls stress me out. They just worry, 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 worry constantly. And if you deep it, the workload that they give is actually doable. If you don't procrastinate and stress, you can actually get the work done to a good standard in the time frame that they give it to you. But sometimes you just feel like for three days, you don't want to do anything. You can't force me to feel motivated all the time. A lot of the time you are left on your own to just get on with it. We are given minimal information to do certain tasks because we need to use our own initiative. And I think that just comes with learning who you are as a person, your own coping mechanisms on how to do things. Especially because my course is 75% exams and 25% coursework. So it is very independent and you need to have a lot of self-discipline if you do want to do well. But remember, you know, first year, you're still learning who you are. This is new for everybody. So don't stress too much if you're not getting it right the first time. As long as you're putting in effort and you're trying i think that's what's most important no one can ask any more of you if you're trying your best in terms of grades alhamdulillah so far i'm doing pretty well would i be doing that well if i lived out you know accommodation i'm not sure maybe not 
I'll be honest, maybe not. I feel like doing exams, it is really difficult in this period. GCSEs were cancelled, A-levels were cancelled, but uni exams are still going on, okay? I don't think my parents understand the stress to try and perform to a high standard, as well as being stuck indoors. But then... We are indoors because of safety. So it's just a big battle, really. Um, this whole thing is tough. I'm not saying it's easy. <sighs> I am very grateful for my parents. They are very supportive. I mean, as you saw from my A-level results video, they were very, very supportive through that. And they try and understand what I'm going through mentally. I don't think anyone can understand unless you're going through it yourself how draining it can be but if anyone is feeling this way i just want to let you know that you know you're not alone okay i'm waffling when we move on to the next topic in terms of the course itself my favorite module at the moment is brain and behavior that's amazing i love it so much however my least favorite module is positive psychology that module is waffle times 10 like you think i waffle i don't i can't begin to understand how much i really just don't like that topic you oh Anyway, okay, something good can come out of this actually. If you are coming to Queen Mary in September, in semester A, you're probably going to be studying positive psychology. In that case, you will need this textbook. You'll be tested a lot on it, trust me. Um, it is in pristine condition. You will need this book, so DM me and I'll sell it to you. Other than that, um, I've done some YouTube work with the university. That was kind of fun. I'm also student ambassador for psychology at Queen Mary, you know trying to get some extra money on the side. I think it's important to try and get involved with the uni as much as you can, but then don't put too much pressure on yourself. Do what makes you happy. I think that is the biggest thing that I've learned at the moment. Forget what other people think. If you want to do it and it's halal, then do it. By the way, I also failed my driving test last month and my theory runs out next week and we're in lockdown, so I can't book another test, which means I'm gonna have to do my theory again, as well as my practical, but we move. Well, actually I'm not moving anywhere because I can't drive. It's okay. I also turned 20 years old last month. Alhamdulillah, I now feel validated to give advice to people. I feel wiser within myself. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this summary of semester A. Hopefully, I will try my best to upload more content. If you have any questions, please just DM me or comment down below. Also, subscribe because it's free. That hasn't changed, okay? Stay safe, do what makes you happy, and hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Bye.